What's up YouTube? It's your girl May Flowers and welcome to today's video. Before we get into this, click the little red button down there and subscribe to my channel. And while you're at it, just go ahead and give this video a thumbs up before you even watch it because today I'm feeling fat and sassy. Today's video is all about toxic relationships because they are far more common than we realize. And no, this video is not about my relationship with Kate, which has been nothing but happy and healthy and harmonious. However, in my past, I have experienced quite a few toxic relationships relationships that included mental, emotional, and physical abuse. I believe the biggest problem is that most of us are unaware of the toxicity. We can even sometimes be addicted to it. We may have brief moments realizing that it's bad or that it shouldn't be this way, but those are quickly drowned out by the, but I love him or I love her. I don't want it to end. It was so magical in the beginning. Voices in our head. So I'm going to talk about some signals that may help you realize that you're in a toxic relationship and some suggestions on how to get out of them. Okay, so sign you're in a toxic relationship. Number one, control. If you feel that you are being controlled in any way or that you are trying to control them, this could be a sign of an unhealthy relationship. Love is freedom. Allowing the other person to be who they are and them allowing you to be who you are. For example, if somebody wants you to change something about yourself to their liking or vice versa, then right off the bat, that's usually a good indication that you two are not the ones for each other and that's okay. Number two, lack of self-love. This is more of a general topic, but nonetheless a foundation that needs light shed upon it. A lot of the times relationships start off good. You feel the magic, everything's wonderful, but if it starts to go downhill after the first few months, it's usually due to a lack of self-love on one or both parts. Haven't you ever heard the saying, you can't truly love another until you love yourself? While it may sound cliche, it's absolutely true. You are responsible for your happiness. People tend to get into relationships to fill the void. The void is the lack of self-love. Somebody cannot love you for yourself. Only you can do that. Three, abuse. I know this seems more than obvious. However, abuse comes in all shapes and sizes and sometimes can be hard to recognize or at least hard to admit to yourself that it's happening. Clearly the most obvious is physical abuse. Mental and emotional abuse can be tricky because this is where tactical manipulation comes into play. It's like when someone has a sly way of making you feel a certain way. It's almost like they're planting a seed in order to have a particular discussion or scenario play out to their advantage. A clear example would be putting you down. The most common thing that happens is someone discreetly making you feel less than or bad about yourself or the situation because now they have the upper hand. That's manipulation. It's also how toxic people get you to stay with them. They make you feel so badly about yourself that you start to believe that you don't deserve better than that. But you and somehow now you're living in their delusion. Sometimes it's as simple as your partner making you feel dumb or that you don't know any better. So you start to believe it and you start to listen to whatever they say because now you have the subconscious idea that they know better than you. Also, when your partner does something abusive and then follows it with the quickness of, I'm sorry, I love you, I'll never do it again, all of the apologies, all the I love you so much is, that is not love. I think the fear of the unknown is what keeps us held captive in these toxic relationships. Am I gonna regret? this. Can I handle seeing them with someone else? But just with anything, when you project yourself into these future events that aren't happening yet, creating this make-believe scenario in your head, you'll cause yourself all the anxiety. Most of our worrying starts there. It's not happening yet. You'll go through it when the time comes, if that even happens. Also know that you are not your relationship and there's more to life than that. All right, so what to do if you know you're in a toxic relationship and you feel stuck and you're trying to get out. My first bit of advice is to talk to someone that you trust, friends, family, therapist, anybody talk about what is going on, no matter how scared you are. Know that it's normal to have hesitations, but also recognize that that doesn't mean that you're supposed to stay in it. When I was in a physically abusive relationship, I was so unhappy. However, I was so trapped in it. I thought and believed that being without him would be worse than staying and putting up with it. I was a young adult. My mom lived not far from me. I could have gone home at any point and I still couldn't get myself to leave. Or I would leave, but I would always come back with my tail between my legs, apologizing or hoping that he would apologize. Know your self-worth and get out. It's never going to get better. This is your life and there's a better life waiting for you if you want it. I'm just saying that sometimes we feel so trapped that even the worst situations feel a little bit better than the fear of the unknown when we're just 
stuck in this same insane loop over and over again. And it wasn't until after I was out of it that I realized like, oh my gosh, I was living in this delusional reality. Now that I've stepped into the light and freed myself from all of that pain, still to this day, I can't understand how I managed to stay in it for as long as I did. So I'm just saying that I understand for those who are stuck in it, but I promise you it's going to be okay and there's a better life waiting for you. Be honest with yourself. Are you scared of being alone? Are you afraid of change? Are you scared of seeing them with someone else? Are you mostly hooked on that magical beginning of the relationship that is no longer occurring? And just because the beginning of your relationship was great and it isn't now, doesn't make it any less real. It was great at first, but things change and that's okay. You had a great experience, but it's time to let it go. This one's probably one of the more common ones. We are scared of hurting the other person, even if they are our abuser. Please always remember this and apply it. If you or the other person are not okay without the other or without the relationship to depend on, you should not be in it in the first place. This will always lead to an unhealthy relationship and an unhealthy balance. Depending on something outside of yourself to fill the voids within yourself. Be whole with yourself and not because somebody else completes you. Only you can complete yourself. And they will be okay. You will be okay. Even when they say they won't, they will. They will learn whatever lessons they need to learn, as will you. You will both grow and become better, stronger, wiser people because of it. So I understand that this is a very sensitive topic and coming from experience of of being in toxic relationships and knowing how bad it can get and being so stuck even though you are truly unhappy. I could have avoided a lot of suffering had I realized that relationships aren't everything and that it's okay to break up with someone. You are your own person. You are all you need. You are all you ever need. If you need someone to talk to and you feel that you can't talk to any friends and family, or maybe that you don't have anybody readily available, I'm going to leave a website and a, a helpline and a text line down in the description box below. Please don't be afraid to use it. Don't be afraid to reach out and ask for help. I promise everything's gonna be okay, but know you deserve better than this. I hope this video was helpful to anybody out there in relationships that might be struggling a bit. Please leave me any questions and comments down below. I will do my best to answer them, especially in this topic. I do have quite a bit of experience. I love you all so dearly, and I will talk to you guys next time. <laughs>